Hey, professional capture look. How's that? Now, what I want you to do now is come out, five minutes, and then you're going to go in and catch again, then I'm done, all right? Now he's with you. Look at that. Huh? Hello guys, just got in. Tanya's asked me to quickly say a few, few uh, words for this little video. Um, it's it's a, it's a nice little video actually. It's one we went to the other day, not very long, um, and it's a lot of people would have saw uh, the little video of the nine hand, the very feral little tiny, tiny uh, rescue uh, mare. Um, was it a mare polo? I don't even know some Meryl Gelding. I'll go to that many uh, that many horses, but uh, no, it is, it is, it is a Gelding. Uh, so, yeah, um, oh, I must have a hole in my head or something. Hole in my head, Polo. <laughs> you got to laugh, haven't you? Hey, just say, before I start this video, I, I, when I introduced everyone to my bar, I showed a, a 43. It's a little liqueur that, oh, it's absolutely gorgeous it is. It's so easy to drink. Uh, a couple of them, and it's it's really soothing. It's got honey and all sorts in it. Um, and I've just, just come in here now. I thought, oh, I'll, I'll have a little shot of that just to, to, to warm me up a bit. And I've just looked behind me. I've got it. And look, that was up here. So, I, and I'm not guilty. So everyone who's been in to look at my bar... I've been having shots of, shots of the 43 since I mentioned it. So anyway, I don't mind. But yeah, going back quickly to this this little little pony, I had to go back for another visit because, uh, well, what I'll show you first, so just to recap, I'll just show you a couple of clips of what it was like when I met it. And it isn't that long ago, uh, what it was like when I met it and when I left after the session, because we really made inroads uh, into it. I'll show you that now. Still. That's quite something in it for that little, little little tiny tiny tot of a thing. But so it's been quite a few weeks now, and the owner, Shelley, she's been sometimes three hours a day because I I showed her how to move forward. She's she's took it on board. She's been like I say as much as three hours a day. She sent me a, a sent me a little clip of her putting the rug on and things. I can't find that right now, but. So she was doing brilliant with this little pony, a totally different pony, really put the effort in, uh, and his, things are looking up, right? But they cannot let it out in the field because they know they won't be able to catch it. So what she's been doing, she's been putting it in the, in, she's gone from the stable now uh, to putting him in the indoor arena, okay? So she has to book a time slot, goes in the indoor arena, but she doesn't feel confident that she'll be able to catch it in the indoor arena, the weight runs off from, for, from her and things like that. So she's been leaving a lunge line, it's about a 30 foot lunge line. It's only a little soft, soft rope lunge line that would break if anything happened, I'm pretty sure. So that's what she did. So yeah, I'm fine with that. So she has asked me now to go and unclip and see whether I can ca catch, catch him and then get her to catch him as well. So that's what this little video is about. It's, um, it's a nice little video and there's so many people who, are, who, have, who find it hard to catch horses like this there's a lot of these uh, you know really unsure little horses and it can really help these kind of exercises can really help catching catching ponies horses um no matter what size they are you know it's the same method that i use so it's an interesting little video uh so yeah i hope you enjoy this i won't be cutting in hardly at all now was the one other thing uh, no that's it so yeah um yeah enjoy this and uh, catch you again okay so you just go from that. So this, this is Polo. A lot of people will remember me um, gentling her a little bit for the owner. He. Uh, for, he, uh, Polo, for the, for the owner. Uh, he was very feral. He couldn't be touched. Couldn't stand human touch. And fair play, um, three hours a day, I think they've been some days. 
they've got to stage where they put the rug on, fine and stable, things are looking up, but um, can't really be caught somewhere out like this. And I said, we'll start off in the small indoor arena. So I'm here today to figure out a way of being able to take the lunge line off and catch him. Uh, so he's been in here for like five minutes, had a run round. They have let him out in here, but with the lunge line, you can see the lunge line. So today, the idea is to try and see whether I can take the lunge line off and maybe think about uh, catching, catching him. So he's had a little run round. So I, can, I know I can go and grab the lead rope and then do a little bit of work. So he's hooking up with me and then I'm gonna take it off and see whether we, he, he can be caught. So that's the plan. So I'm just gonna walk up and grab the lead rope. Well, I might even get him hooking with me first before I get the lead rope. Not one of those things, I'm not 100% sure yet what I'm gonna do. Um, so, so I think here I'm going to just put a little bit of pressure and when he considers me really looking at, at him too much. Um, so now he's fleeing, so a little bit of pressure. I don't care how long it takes. I don't care how long it takes. The longer it takes, sometimes the better. So I'm going to just see if he, he keeps his attention on where he is. See how he's slowing in a little bit? No. Um, if he Gives me one eye and flees, then I'll just pursue him. So hopefully, right. Let's see. Right. So there, he's considering me a little bit. He's squaring up. closer than I thought I was going to get there. So I've just given him a complete release from me. So there was something in it for him to let me get quite close. If he goes again, not a problem. I'll just, the more he goes and realises he doesn't need to, that I'm his release, the better. So. Now he's looked at me, he's starting to realise, he gets rid of me, just like in the stable before.
That's good. All of these little fakes are good. There. I think, I think he took a step towards me then. I think he did. So now I'm going to just, that's, that's his release from me. He's just licked and chewed. time he's, he's considering me being by him and not fleeing. Good. Really good. So there. Just so again, that doesn't do it for him, but that does. That does. All right. I, I've tried not to look into his eyes. This stage, I wouldn't want to lose a little bit what I've got. His foot, the, the, the leads round his step lock. So I'll probably wait a minute for that. See if I can back him up a little bit. Back up here. We'll keep going, looking at his foot. Uh, keep dragging his rope. Come on. Looking at his feet. Still got his rope there. Still got his rope there. Right. Still got his rope there. Still got his rope there. <laughs> <laughs> I need him to come out of that, baby. Really. So I'm going to draw it through here. Right, so. Follow me, lovely. Stop him. Right. I'm going to try and get him to start listening to me with his feet. So that he starts to get into his head just a little bit, a little seed. But all I'm interested in is his feet. So I'm going to touch just. And there's going to be a release there. So I backed up for the foot. Another foot. Come on. There. And I've backed up. So, I'm going to see if I can get his hind quarters to come around. All right. There. Just a little bit. Wasn't a disengagement. There. There. I'm going to get into hind quarters. My God, he feels so different to where I last. There. So he's disengaging better on the side that we do more with them on. There, back up. There, he's getting that already. So there's a little bit of um, 
little disengagement there. So I'm going to let him off now. Now the owner has just said, oh my God, do you think you'll catch him? Um, I think we'll catch him. Might take a little while. I think he, the, the horses in here can get quite concerned about the clicking. You need the clicking, that's a yeah. fence click. Right, so that's a good point to be. He's let, he's let me get hold of the head collar, that's fine. So I'm gonna unclip now. The moment of... True. <laughs> but that's the first time he's ever been unclipped anywhere other than in the stable. And we're gonna let him just know that... Oh. Now look at that, guys. Oh. <laughs> Boy, it's amazing, isn't it? Huh? That's amazing. Boy. There's some horses going down there, you see. So, I mean, so I, I joined up with, with him um, without needing to be aggressive, throwing ropes behind him. So, to me, it's more important how they leave more than how they come really. So I just tend to just walk up, walk, just put a little bit of little bit of pressure on and then release the pressure when they look at two eyes. But to me it's just the easiest way. So okay, so I probably won't leave these women alone now. Mm -hmm. uh, <laughs> that's so funny. And there's there's his owner worrying that I couldn't catch her. Is. Now, he's experimented there, so the fact that he's coming again, I'm going to just take a cue. Now, what I have got to do now, he, he pretty much knows it's okay, it's okay with me here, but what he will be, will be let out for exercise in here. And then they've got to come up after, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to come out. He'll be running around a little bit, you know, this and that. Then I'll come back in and have to build what I've just had with the lunge line. So I'll have to do the same thing. He might pick it up real quick, but he'll probably be a little bit up running around because it's the owner that's got to come in and do it eventually. So the owner will be in a, here in a little bit. Come in now, actually. Take so, it what? Take it I have. I have. And uh, to be honest, following like a little baby. Look. Don't follow me. Look. It's in here. He's got it jumping. Do you believe that? What did you do? I thought it was better that I did it without anyone here because if too many people were here, he's really susceptible to, to people with eyes on him. Yeah, well, the gills are going to stay down there now yeah. and feed and stuff. Do you see what I'm saying? They know every eye. Yeah. They know every eye on them and they know what people are thinking. So we'd all be thinking, oh, will we be, ever be able to, to, to catch him? He would feel that. That's what they do. They're so good at looking at expressions and anticipation and all of that. But what I'm going to do, I'm going to come out, because obviously we're all going to leave him in here. You're going to let him have a run around daily or whatever you're going to do. Daily, yeah. Yeah, ideally daily. And then you're going to come back. So what I'm going to come out in a minute. We'll leave him for a bit. Then I've got to make sure I've got this when I come back. So that's a good place to leave that now. Mm -hmm. Would you agree? Mm -hmm. Now I'm going to stop him. Back him up a foot. There, one foot. So we will start to realise, and we've already started to realise, that I'm only interested in stop. Back up a foot. Oh. Right? 
You proud of your little one? Yeah. He's been doing, I've been doing that back in him at, um, yeah, before I put his food in. Yes. So, because you said about right. the treats and Don't stuff. So feeding. Even with the food bucket and making back up a step before I put it down. And that's why you're getting this. Mm -hmm. If we keep treating them, let them take the He's feed off us, treat they can't handle that. So, I'm going to come out now. Mm -hmm. Now, he might fall to bits a bit now and have a run round and think, oh, where am I? And all of that. He's right but, behind you. Yeah, he's a... That's great, isn't it? Right, so... That's great. Right, hang on, we'll just, just leave him now. Right, so we've left it now. I don't know, 10 minutes. Uh, he's had a little bit of a run around. And I've come up now. It is a bright day here, so I've got my sunglasses on, but there's not a hope I'm gonna have my sunglasses on to do this. Totally changes the job. So I'm gonna take the sunglasses off, I'm gonna go in. It might be like starting over again, just for a second. And when I've caught him, and then I'm gonna let him go, and then, then the owner's gonna come up. It's important that the owner can do this. Feel confident that she can catch him. And then when that's good, the plan is that um, he'll be pretty much daily left in here to have a little bit of exercise, run around, whatever, then she'll catch him. Then when that's good, she's gonna put the lead rope back on and she, in I don't know, two or three weeks time, she'll let him out in the big arena, huge arena around the corner. The lunge line will go on again, so she knows she's confident to catch. And then eventually when she can catch him without touching the lunge line, then the lunge line will come off and it's the same process. And I've just been talking to her and, you know, she's confident now that in the summer she can eventually let him, let him go in the field, which was always the intention. So I'm going to take these off now and I'm going to go in. He's already wanting to leave here. Good. So. Well, that's excellent already. So I'm gonna see where See, I wouldn't even pursue this much more than this, to be honest. That's what I've been doing, touch and walk away, touch yes, and walk, walk away. Touch and walk away. He's almost. He digs at it and all and sniffs it as if to say, yeah. Touching me, isn't he? Yeah. His hand, and he's saying, "Yeah, but be, just be gentle. Don't look in his eyes, and just when you do get him with your finger, just rub his nose, and then lose it and walk away." Right? So, yeah, I'll get out because he's kind of hooked onto me here a bit too much. So, so you now, okay? So just just walk towards him. Yeah. Now you've got to, as soon as he looks at you, stop. Yeah. Let me come out because. Oh, okay, right. So, 
go ar around here, around, around there. Right, and now turn back around the, the other there, and keep going round. Right, keep going round to his right. Yeah, stop, stop, stop. Because you didn't see it. All right, try not to be too stiff about things. Just not, yeah, nice and loose like that. Yeah, do uh, you know what I mean? Right, now turn around again towards me. Yeah, and then walk this way. Yeah, now there, now stop. Yeah, loose, nice and loose. Yeah. <laughs> All right, so at the moment now, that's quite good for him. All right, when he first saw you go into him, uh, whoa. Uh, so, okay, now go around again. See whether he'll follow you around the back a little bit. Nice and loose. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. All right. Now use your loaf now and start doing what I was telling you to do and stop when he starts to come towards you. So go around him. Yeah. Yeah. Right, stop. Yeah. All right, come again. Just this way, look. Right round. Yes. Now touch him and go away. Yeah. Now, look at this. All right. Yeah. Right. Touch him and then go away. Now stop. Just talk to us now. So you're like not considering him now. He'll yeah. know that you're not considering him really. You're talking to us. Yeah. You know, he's not now the fact that. It's very much what I've been doing with the lunch line on. Yeah. Because based on what you said in the table, yeah. I, um, I really enjoy it. Yeah. And I've been doing that with, with the lunch line on. Yeah. Really, that's exactly Perfect. for me, not yeah. him, for yeah. me. Now, all that will happen, you know when you, you do do this, maybe tomorrow or the next day, you know he'll probably uh, go away from you, but all you do is that little thing where you just walk towards him and stop and circle him when he considers you. So it doesn't matter if it takes a little while, yeah, it'll yeah. mean more. Right? So again, now go around and get him sort of following you. There. Now stop, let him have a little uh, of you. That's it. <laughs> Lovely. Now then. Now the other way, that's it. Yeah, nice and loose, not thinking about him. Yeah, now let him touch you and just gently put your finger in the lead rope. Halter. And then the halter, and then, yes. <laughs> How's that? Yeah. Now stop, there you go. Finger in the lead rope, next Halter. Time. What? Halter. Oh, sorry, halter. <laughs> now give him a little, yes. Oh. No. Look at that. There's your wild little pony. Yes. Huh? That's it. You'll be calling wild, will mm? You'll be calling wild, too. No. No. Yeah, now just, when you get a knife, when you feel like, yes, he's with you, 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 there you'd have to go too far to him there, wouldn't you? Think about that. that uh, whoa, 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 whoa. Because you're quite far away, you would have you would have gone into him then. I would have gone around a little bit, so he's hooked a bit more. Yeah, now there's a point there where you can just, yes. Do you see what I'm saying? If we two, yes, and you've got him. Hey, professional catcher look. <laughs> How's that? Now, what I want you to do now is come out, yeah. five minutes, and then yeah. you're gonna go in and catch again, then I'm done, all right? Now he's with you. Look at that. Huh? Look at that. Now come out and leave him. We'll all go out the way now. <laughs> Just the look, the look about him. Yeah, he, he's a different horse since he came. Um, and it was the first thing I did. Right. Yeah. Yeah. What we do, we, we won't creep around him. Yep. No. Put that behind you. Yep. He knows what it's for anyway. Yeah. Like when I go into the, the yeah. um, stable with it, he knows he's coming out. Uh, let him catch himself. So you do the same thing. Sort of just. Yes. Look at that. And, <laughs> and circle around him a little bit. So he's hooking on. And then when you get him with your finger, when you get him with your finger, right, clip it on then now. Uh, nice and gently. Yes. 
So now you can catch your horse in the arena, can't you? Huh? How does that feel? So the progression then is, is to do this in here, let him have, how lovely for him to come and run around in here yeah. now and express without himself meter. without that dangling. Well but I will say, I think the fact that you did it with the, with the uh, lunge line on, okay, some people might say, oh, he could have hurt himself or whatever. It's a soft rope and it would break. So I'm okay with that. But he's got, you, there is a benefit to it. You have now got him used to a certain extent because ideally you want him to be a lead rein, a little babby on there. Now he won't forget that when a lead rope goes down the side of him or something, or you've got a big, lead, big, um, you know, big lead rein on, yeah. he won't be frightened of it, will he? Yeah. So there is some benefits to what you've done. So, but now, nice for him to do that. Now in a few weeks when you're ready, into the big arena, yeah. leave the lunge line on again. Yeah. Cause so you, you're confident catching him. When you can catch him without touching the lead rein, you take it off, okay. just like today. Okay. All right, how's that sound for you? Yeah, good. Pleased with that? Yeah. Awesome, you well done. Yes, he does. Right, we're done then? Yeah. Lovely, right. okay. Thank you very much. Right.